from beating up bops to nearly burning down the whole jail. These are King Von's most disrespectful and savage moments behind bars. Recently, King Von has been the main topic of discussion after footage of him started going viral while doing time in Cook County Jail. But first, let's talk about what landed him behind bars. In 2014, King Von was chilling at a house party, and during the party, a guy named Malcolm Stuckey and some of his friends were mean mugging Von to try and scare him. Von decided not to try anything since he was outnumbered, so he left the party in a great vehicle to go pick up his homie, Big Mike, for backup. Around 45 minutes later, King Von and Mike returned to the party, but parked in an alley near the house. The two of them hopped out of the car with loaded guns and headed to the front of the house. Malcolm Stuckey and two others were sitting on the front porch when Von and Big Mike opened fire on them. Malcolm and the other man ran down the street to escape, but both ended up getting hit. The other man on the porch was hit as well, as he was attempting to run inside the house. In the end, three people were critically wounded, but Malcolm Stuckey unfortunately got hit in the head and passed away later that day. After the drill, Von and Big Mike ran back to their whip and fled the scene, but both of them ended up getting arrested days later. During the investigation, over 20 shell casings were recovered. Big Mike even admitted to police that he shot a gun 15 to 16 times at one of the victims. King Von, on the other hand, refused to say anything during interrogation, so the two were held without bond and were facing life in prison for charges of first-degree murder and two attempted murders. And while behind bars, King Von was still breaking the rules and disrespecting his ops, starting with the time King Von straight up exposed his op in jail because all of the inmates were in a holding cell. And while in the cell, everything was all good until Von noticed his op, 051 Freaky. Once he saw him, Von slipped out of his handcuffs and headed toward Freaky. Freaky tried to hide, but Von caught him because he couldn't do much and started throwing hands at him and knocking him to the ground. Two other inmates joined in to help Von, and thankfully, prison guards came to the rescue and broke everything up. And Von and Freaky were both removed from the bullpen. And one thing that had everyone confused was how Von was able to slip out of the handcuffs. You can even see that he was cuffed, correct? Because you can see the marks from the cuffs on his arm. How'd you get out of your cuffs? How'd you get out of your cuffs? How'd you get out of your cuffs? You thought you were still in them? Are you double jointed? I'm just asking. It's not, I'm not going to put a case on you or nothing. I just want to know, man. No, I just got to go. Turns out, the reason Vine attacked Freaky was since he had a disrespectful tattoo on his body saying, L.A. Capone. Not long after the incident, someone made a tweet saying, Devon beat somebody up before court yesterday because he had a L.A. tattooed on his arm. After the fight, police wanted a statement from Von and Freaky. And this is what Von had to say when questioned by police. You know what's explain what happened? You refuse to give a statement? That's my statement right there. Mr. Bennett stating that he did not do anything. Anything else you want to add? No, you have any injuries? No. 051 Freaky also stayed solid after the fight because when questioned, this is what he had to say. Mr. Howard, you want to explain what happened? Uh, it's slight incident. It's nothing though. It's nothing. Anything else you want to add? Do you have any injuries? People weren't surprised that Von did that when seeing Freaky, since 051 are the ones responsible for L.A. Capone's death. Because on September 26, 2013, while leaving the recording studio around 6 p.m., L.A. went to look for his ride down the street. As he was walking down the alley near 70th Street and Stony Island Avenue, he was approached by a dude later identified as 051 Lil' Mick and gunned down. So Von wanted to get back to that situation. But that ain't the only time Von exposed one of his ops while behind bars. Because he also did the same with Lil' J. One clip went viral where Von asked the guards if he could get moved to protective custody. And it seemed like he wanted to get moved there badly because he even put on a suspicious act so the guards could move him there. Sexual orientation, you're requesting protective custody, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Valid job! And Vine didn't actually want to get moved to protective custody. He just wanted to get moved to another deck. He doesn't, he doesn't want anything. He just wants to move across the hall. Oh. I asked maybe one piece and he don't want. He just wants to move across the hall. At first, no one knew the real reason why he was doing this. But it turned out that he didn't want to be on the same deck as his op, Lil' J. Since Lil' J is very sus. Once Vine found out that Lil' J was in protective custody, he told the guards that he couldn't go there due to Lil' J being in there. Since Lil' J takes booty. I'm trying to get some off the deck. trying to kill you that doesn't happen in protective custody. 
I just offered you a protective custody and you refused it. I'm saying, I done did so much to people in the world. You gotta check my pants though. Y'all got all that shit on the computer. You got Jeff LeBron. Sir, that's up, for, up to classification to assign you different cells, okay? Vine isn't the only one who doesn't want to be around Lil J because his own friend, FBG Butter, doesn't even want to be around him. Because instead of being around Lil J, Butter asks guards if he could be moved to the hole. Wow, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll wrap you down. I got whole key separate on my rap. My rap, got me jumped on and everything. I can't go down now. What up? Go on, at first, not a lot of people believed Vine when he tried exposing Lil J for being suspicious while behind bars because Lil J would always deny the rumors. Another thing, too, is people were talking about, you know, some or messing with a guy. Let's, let's clear the air on that, too. That's like the number one thing people want to talk heard about. That that was the most goofiest I ever heard in my life. And I knew it had to come from somebody goofy or something. Don't never play with my name like that, man. Never said no when I was out of that. But the truth came out once a clip got leaked of Lil J letting a guy sit in his lap and kiss on him. And that ain't the only clip that proved the rumors to be true, because another clip got leaked showing Lil J confronting another inmate since the inmate was harassing the dude that he talks to. Because in the clip, the dude calls Lil J to his cell to let J know that he's not leaving the cell since an inmate is harassing him. So Lil J then goes over to confront the inmate who was harassing the dude, and they meet in the cell to settle their differences. After the altercation, Lil J is removed from the day room by the guards, and the dude that Lil J was dating was finally able to walk out of his cell. After these clips hit the internet, people said King Vine was right all along. And even some of Lil J's own gang members were clowning him after seeing those clips. So to see you sitting there to be talking up a boy boy, trying to force a boy boy into the washroom, they mean that you will take any one of anybody given the time and the place. You the booty man. The booty man, bro. That's the booty man. One of Lil J's closest partners, King Yella, even confirmed the rumors to be true and explained what Lil J tried doing to him once. I've seen you kind of speak on Lil J in the past a little bit, man, I, but I came across an old Say Cheese clip where you said that he tried to kiss you. Tried to kiss me off a pill, man. That's a tough one. But Lil J isn't the only one who threw hands in the day room because Vine was also in the day room one day and two dudes were jumping one of his ops. So once Vine saw what was going on, he decided to jump in and things didn't turn out nice after he did this. Because after someone tried to run up on Vine after he jumped in, and that's when Vine threw a hook and dropped the dude before getting chased by cops and tackled to the ground. But Vine ain't only getting into fights with other inmates while in jail, because he also had an incident where he had to fight a guard since. And he explains this situation in this interview after everything took place. There was an incident that occurred up there at 2034 hours with Division 9 staff. Do you care to tell me in your own words what happened up there? There was a refusal. The inmate didn't want to come and see with me. So the white shirt came. The white shirt came in the room. He said, go to the back. Mm -hmm. I told I, I need to talk to him. Instead of talking, he just pushed me, got the punch him. Grabbed him by my head, slammed him in the toilet. I the CEOs brushed him. They yeah, They brought me downstairs. Mm -hmm. My hands too. So they tried to say I hit him or something. Got no marks on my hands. But that ain't nothing, because there's even an incident where King Vine almost burned the whole jail down while being locked up. Because on April 15th, 2017, King Vine and several other inmates set fire to the Cook County Jail. The whole room was smoked out and the fire was slowly getting larger. But over time, the fire slowly died out before things got too out of hand. Vine was doing all types of things in jail because there's even footage showing Vine popping pills while behind bars. And once guards found out, they instantly put Vine in handcuffs and took him to the hole for doing this. And after sitting in jail and going crazy for three and a half years, Vine's trial finally began. The trial lasted a total of five days. And the outcome was surprising because Big Mike, Vine's co-defendant, got sentenced to 28 years. And Vine got acquitted of all charges. Vine was finally free after three and a half years in the Cook County Jail. Not too long after getting out of jail, Vine got into a situation with Quando Rondo and lost his life outside of an Atlanta nightclub. But speaking of getting into it, click this video to see seven rappers who attacked their fans because NLE Chopper had to smack a fan for going too far. And TJX6 almost dropped the fan for walking up on him. 